A very warm welcome to the sports ground, the home of Chatham Town Football Club. This is the Kent Football Association DFDS Junior A Cup Final. Aylesford against Upchurch. Match officials leading out the two sets of players ahead of kickoff, and it's time to check on the two lineups. First of all, Aylesford, they're managed by Aaron Branthwaite. Assistant manager is Chris Laleen. Coaches Chris Coombs and Jake Wells. Physio Becky Burnham. And they are playing in the blue and white stripes. Their opponents today are Upchurch. They're playing in orange shirts and black shorts. Jordan Colclough is their manager. Scott Seals is the assistant manager. And Mo Mirza is the coach. Today's referee is Michael Jones, assisted by Darren Stock and Stephen Page. Martin Belsom is your fourth official. <laughs> Jamie threw in to take this free kick. For up church in the orange towards the edge of the penalty area, flicked on by Tuck Brown. That's a really good ball out to the left-hand side, shot coming in, and it hit the post. And it was mighty close to Upchurch taking the lead. Here it's played forward by Colt, off goes Stebbets. That's the bottom of Kennedy, cross comes in, just over the top from Ashton Brisley. Yes. Gets it wide. Stebbets gets the cross in. Good defending in the end by Alex Taylor. It's a good ball inside. Shots with a shot. Just the wrong side of the post from Sam Potter. It's a great ball in from Lewis Foreman. And there is Kingdom. George Kingdom gives Ailes for the lead with a cracking header. But don't underestimate the quality of the ball in from the far side by Lewis Foreman. It was on a plate for the big man and he didn't disappoint. 1-0 to Aylesford. Back in the midfield by Alex Taylor. Oh, it's a smashing through ball. This is a really big chance. Kennedy, it's Tuck Brown, it's 1-1. Just before the half hour mark. It's an equaliser for Upchurch. Magnificent through ball. And when it's played back in, it's a simple tap in from Tuck Brown after Louis Kennedy found him. All square again. Just in transit by Balderston. It could be dangerous. Shot rifling in. Just off target. Corner. Played short, clever corner, Hadley chips it up. It's turned back across, goal by Potter. And eventually cleared away. Zach Wells with a corner. Balderston couldn't find a passage in with a header. It's gone behind for a goal kick. Another forward by Hadley. Stebbets. Chance to take on the defender. Comes back inside. Stebbets with the shot. And he scores. Aaron Stebbets. And Alsford are back in front again. He's looked dangerous all day. And when he gets the ball on the edge of the box, he just cuts inside the defender. And quickly rifles home a low right foot shot, which wrong foots the goalkeeper. Kennedy and that's a really good ball forward out comes the goalkeeper and the shot was just past the post very unlucky for Lawrence Simmons oh, Owen Baker with the long ball forward looping header back in and the header just wide from Zach Wells put through by Lewis Foreman Stebbets again Trying to go for the near post. Goalkeeper equal to it this time, Williamson. Oh, throw. Towards the six yard box. To oh. by Kingdom. And smash towards goal. It was Louis Kennedy. It wasn't far away. Oh. Ball forward. 
It's one to chase for Tuck Brown. Tuck Brown comes inside Kingdom. Eventually gets the shot away. Saved and then grabbed at the second time of asking by Owen Baker. Taylor Tuck Brown. New ball to find Ryan Brightwell. Brightwell on the left-hand side, edge of the penalty and takes on the defender, tries to stab it home, it ends up going wide. And with it, the referee blows the final whistle and it's victory for Aylesford. George Kingdon and Aaron Stebbins with the goal. They have beaten up Church by two goals to one to claim the DFBS Junior A Cup. And their captain, George Kingdon, solid at the back and a brilliant headed goal in the first half. is named as the Kent Football Association Player of the Match. Have to collect their runners up medals. Up Church, they a really good account of themselves. Gillingham Town, Locomotive, Canterbury, Halls AFC reserves and Selinge on their way to the final. But it just wasn't to be for them today. up to collect their winners medals are uh, Aylesford their route to the final began in round three with an ava away victory at Kings Hill reserves 4-1 then beat Sickports Selhurst and Orpington firsts on their way through to the final and they've carried out the victory in the final by two goals to one here today Baker and his winners medal the very back of the queue, Aaron Branthwaite and his managerial team. And they're delighted. There's only one. The champagne look the ready, as you can see. So it's congratulations to Aylesford. They get their hands on the Kent Football Association DFDS Junior A Cup. And they are the winners for the 2023-2024 season. Congratulations to them.